All right, we're back. Circling Back Podcast. Washed Media HQ in Austin, Texas. My name's Will DeFries. To my left, David Ruff. <laughs> I just glanced at Twitter, and uh, our, our friend of the show, James, has a funny tweet. And you can't see it because he's private, but can I read it to y'all? Is it mega horny? Nope. It's just, it's funny. It says, only talking in my sketch voice for this therapy session. What's a sketch voice? I don't know. Maybe Randy can help us with that. Yeah, he's a he's a streamer on uh, on Twitch, and uh, it's a it's a it's an interesting character the guy does. You'll have to just look it up. Okay, that was unsatisfying, Randy. I thought you were going to do an impression. So, I thought you were going to wow Randy, us not, on a I'm Monday familiar, morning. I'm not familiar with his game enough to do an impression. So this of is it. not this is not James. James no. is not a streamer. No, no, Dave, no. Dave threw you a pass and you just you fumbled it out of bounds. Yeah, I might. I didn't read the coverage. He right. he pump fake to to lose the defender and then he just hung with him and swatted him into the fucking third row. He caught front rim and that's it. I had Dylan in the flat. Also, if you look up this sketch guy on uh, Twitch, you'll understand why I don't want to do an impression of him because it could uh, it can trend to- bad really quickly. Dylan Shivery, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I don't know how I follow that up, but I'm going to do my best. Yeah, good luck. Uh, I'm just trying to stop the bleeding with cancel Randy. I'm so there. happy to be here. Uh, it's it's newsletter week for those who are unaware and for those who celebrate. Uh, I celebrate. Um, what does that time, mean for podcasts? Big time stuff going on in the newsletter uh, world this week. And this is a tease, wait, what, what does that mean for podcast out. week, though? It's not podcast week, Will. Okay. Well, that's what does a different it mean week. for podcast? What am I doing here? That's that's a different week, dude. I don't know. What, uh, okay, I'll explain it to y'all after the show. But hey, just just get ready for it. You're looking mega comfy in that rollback hoodie. Okay, so rollback they redid. This is not an ad. This is just, I'm just going to talk about it. Fuck yeah. They redid the fabric of these hoodies. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's called like V Soft Fabric now. It's V Soft. It's trademark. Uh, guess what? It's V Soft. Right. It is. Well, I, I, just, I, I just said that. Actually. I don't, I don't have a show. shirt on under this. I'm going straight to the skin on this. That's a that's that's, that's a normal. post shower at like 5 p.m. move. That's not a that's not a first thing Monday morning. Hey, move. Will. I don't know if you knew this about me, but I kind of play by my own rules. So maybe you just mind your business. How about that? Backer twenty will get you twenty percent off at checkout. Why do people ever say? Mind your own beeswax. That was real annoying as a kid. I mean, what the fuck? What are you talking about? Yeah, that was annoying. Who's who's starting that? I don't know why, but as a little kid, I hated the word hilarious. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was like a lame way to describe something being funny. Hilarious. Oh man, that's hilarious. I like to shorten it to hilare. Dude, that's really good. I know. You should. You sh- we should delete this part so p- other people don't do that, and it's your thing. Yeah, Hil- <laughs> that's so hilare. Let's just go. a short version. Toss it back to Randy. See what he's got. Randy, what you got? Hey, Randy. Ooh, oh, Brett tried telling me spilt wasn't a word today. Yeah, that was a miss. What the hell is it? Was, that was a tough about. conversation to overhear while I was thinking spilt? about something else. I don't like when people use that word. I noticed Randy has, um, you're rocking the headphones purposely tight. Is it because. Will called you out for how poofy you were today. Dude, major no, Scott Khan energy it's, coming it's, from Randy it's today. Because I have a very small head and they're always this tight. You, you were hella poofy. Randy has ha- he's poofy. got the poofiest hair going right now. It's like he's gonna go get measured oh for his like God. new state ID or Who something. Are you? It's poofy. Yeah. Like I, why are you all poof? You don't need to get that much poof in your hair. I got a haircut on Tuesday, um, on Friday. Haircut makes you extra This poofy. is a yeah. new haircut. This is a new I mean it's this, it's the same haircut I always get, but Did you tell him you just needed a couple inches on top? What? Yeah, sure. God, not really, not chief. What do you even? Fucking zone. I don't know about you. Sometimes. Oh man. There's Still, a certain coffee right. truck near our office who I'm starting to have some major issues with in terms of their coffee. What's the coffee truck? <laughs> you know, it might. They might also serve bagels as well. Oh. I, what is this place doing? Like, I respect this place. I think they've got some of the best bagel sandwiches in town. I've been very happy with the food, but whenever I get a coffee from this place, something goes awry. Like you order when they're closed. Like I, so, d- we we already know the ordering system need, might need some some help. It might need some bumpers yeah. here to make sure that you're not uh, ordering coffee during off hours. David, well, today I went over and got an. I, I asked for an iced americano. Do you order it via uh, the internet or in person? In person. Okay. They said yeah. He comes around and any time that you don't have the coffee in your hand and they start asking you questions about the coffee, you know that you're about to get just put through it. And he says, hey, I forgot. The owner just ran out to get some more ice. And I was like, okay. He goes, Do you, is it cool if I just pour these shots of espresso in some water that's been in the fridge overnight? 
I was like, I don't think that works. If the cup yeah. is free, maybe. Yeah, that. I was like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no, that's fine. Did one of those. Uh, he, he he gives it to me, and he gives me like a giant, just cup of pure diesel fuel. You can tell this is some potent stuff, but there's no ice in it, and there's something unsettling about drinking. I don't like drinking that with no ice. Was in the wa- it. was the water? It was chilled though. It was chilled. It was chilled. <laughs> Had to come over here and. We've got one of the shittiest ice machines you could possibly have in a refrigerator right now. Very true. Also, our tap water stinks, as in it like actually smells bad. Yeah, so I uh, I just had to fashion Girls. it over here in a wash media pint glass, and uh, I, it's just not how you want to start your Monday it's morning. Not hitting. Yeah. So they've got a they've got a couple more strikes for me before I really call them out for the sports heads out there. Damn. But they're on notice right now. Okay. I'm not going to name them because I do want them to thrive and and uh, improve. They, they make a damn fine bagel. That's hey, the thing. Do you remember when we tried to get a sandwich from that place down the way? That's actually now like one of the best sandwiches in Austin, in my opinion. But they ran out of bread. And they're like, oh, they just opened. Like, uh, owner's out getting bread. It's a pretty key ingredient in a mm. sandwich. No, but it's it's not what a good sign when they say the owner's out getting more bread. It's a good sign if they're like, we ran out of bread. We got to make more. I'm always, if I'm they're making out. more, that it. means they're grinding and that they have popular sandwiches because they got fire bread. I'm if you're just out, out of bread, bread, that means you're lazy. The year is 2001. You walk into your job at Subway. You just skateboarded to work. You walk in and um, you see your boss and she looks at you and says, we have no bread. We're out of bread. Somebody, whoever closed that for, did not make the bread. <laughs> So they were making bread. I think that's going to be a problem considering we're so, Subway okay. sandwiches. Just curious. I don't. I've never worked in the food industry. You sure. make the bread at closing time. Yeah, I think so. You don't just leave the, the oven going as you lock no, the no, doors. No, no, I mean, no. I, if, if I recall, you start making it at night before you leave. You prep it. You prep the bread. So prep. it's like it's like frozen. Like you need to make the dough and all that. So stuff. you bake in yeah. the morning. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. Got it. Got it. You wake and bake, dog. Fuck yeah, dude. And then weeks later, I'm conveniently can, left off the schedule. Why can no one give me an answer as to how they they bake the 12 foot party sub bread? Why is there is there a big ass oven? Is there an oven that just like puts it through slowly and it starts kinda, rising? Like I just I haven't gotten a real answer yet. I kind of don't want to know. I just I like the mystery of they it. They bring in the party oven. Is it several small loaves that are built into <laughs> other How do you do that? Things no, like what's connected. the deal here? That's what they did at Jimmy John's. Just smaller subs maybe, all, all set up. Maybe that, that toaster conveyor belt, they just keep running it back and forth through that thing. Um, no, no, I mean, no, that's that, that's a viable option for me. I don't think it's the option, but it's a viable one. They actually tie it together like a balloon animal. Okay. So you have like four. We want real long. answers here. Should I be annoyed that when Fritz got a, uh, a balloon animal from the balloon guy at Matt's El Rancho the other night, uh, he didn't get an animal. He just got a balloon with Spider-Man's face on it. And I was like, you know, I, he's happy with this, but also I was kind of expecting you to like build an animal here and, and kind of knock my socks off. You wanted him to, you want to blow his little mind. I want him to make Spider Man. Yeah. Like use the Spider Man balloon with his face on it as the head of Spider Man. Just one balloon. Just yeah. One. He just he just hit that thing with some some Healy and called it a day. He's like, oh, finally a kid wants a Spider Man. I just got to use this one balloon I have. Exactly. I get to take a, I get to take some reps off. That dude, he's just in it for the for the love of the game. Though. He is. I, lo- I kind of respect it. What, dude? What are, you, what are you looking at, Dave? Someone has got an actual gong outside. Are you hearing the metal? Nope. Not in, okay. I don't, not in, not in these There's been a lot of gong slander, and here's the thing. We don't need to use the gong anymore on Circling Back. In fact, I might actually bar us from using the gong on you know Circling it's Back. So, it's, it's so off the high table pitch. Now. No, oh, don't table. worry about it, dude. It's a off mini gong. It, it can't generate. One more time. It can't generate some kind of like no. low, low boom. It's giving bell. One more time for a tribute to the gong. No, nope. don't nope. do it, dude. It's on the they don't de- the backers the don't deserve it. Here, There's been here. slander towards this gong. Hey, hey, backers. This is the last time you ever see this gong. Oh, Boom, I don't gone. like the slander toward Damn. the gong. Yeah. Oh, we heard it. No, I fell. That wasn't it ringing. I'll edit that out. Yeah, there's allegations out there that this gong is giving symbol, and I just simply it don't is. appreciate it. It's okay. It's not the best gong, but it is a gong. It is the best gong. You're it's the, the best gong I've ever seen. This. What? You're the one that's leading this charge. I know. I, I'm sorry. It's rude. I'm sorry. It's a retail therapy baby girl gong. It's it's, it's whoever described it as a, an Amazon. It's giving Amazon or whatever they said, an Amazon. Yeah, because no, it was 17 bucks from Amazon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't understand why people think that like you can just have a tiny gong that that creates a 
That's just simply big, not happening. That's a big boy gong. I know. Dave knows about that. It's like, authentic he, gong. He's a real gonger. He's not. It's hard to find a gong sound effect on Spotify. It shouldn't be that hard, dog. Just Google it, dog. Yeah, go you, YouTube. Don't go to Spotify, weirdo. They have sound effects on Spotify? <laughs> Who's doing that? No one. I watched uh, that movie over the weekend, by the way. What, Gong? Gong Girl. <laughs> How does it how does it end? Um, it turns out the gong was alive the whole time. Oh my god. Yeah. Like rubber. You ever watch that one about the killer tire? Um yeah. That sounds like you had a dream about yeah, it. Yeah. Um I heard that. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Rubber about the killer. Yeah. Maybe cool. we should just move on. <laughs> Can we just mute him the rest of the episode? He's really blowing it. Oh, we got Patreon returning tomorrow. Patreon.com slash Circling Back Podcast. You can also go on sh uh, Spotify and uh, subscribe there to our Patreon. Yeah, I know that sounds crazy, but it can be done. Uh, also, voicemails every Thursday, 888-618-4422. Again, 888-618-4422. Bit Madness is upon us. It will be beginning on Wednesday. Randy, can you give us a little insight on what needs to be uh, discussed right now? Yes. Uh Go to the description of this episode, and it'll tell you everything you need to do. Uh, brackets will be open till Tuesday night, and Wednesday we will start Bit Madness. Uh, submit your bracket. If you're having trouble following the link, open an incognito window. Take Ooh. a screenshot. Make sure you put your social media handle or email, so if you win, that we can uh, give you guys a prize. But like I said, just go in the description of this episode. It has everything in it that you need. Speaking of incognito, is Pornhub still not available in Texas? Oh. Uh, correct. Oh, like you don't know. I really well, I don't, don't know. As of last week, no, it was not. It's not the only As, one. It was not. Oh, it's Snip Week. Also, I forgot about that. Sorry. Well, for me? I, mean, I don't mean to bring up your Why are you ruining this weekend in fun? That's going to be my Wednesday. What's your fucking problem, dude? This weekend and getting snipped. It's not that fun. It's actually the opposite of fun. Well, did you get to sit on your... It might rhyme with fun, kind of. No. I, I'm sorry. Nope. Oh, no. Like, run. Like, run away. You don't want this to happen to you. Sure, that's what you meant. Seriously. It is newsletter week. Washed.substack.com. <laughs> go subscribe. If you're in the subscribing mood, please go to youtube.com slash circling back. We've been doing premieres every Monday and Wednesday for the episode, so just make sure you hop in that chat. It's kind of fun in there. Let's recap this weekend of fun presented by our friends over at Muggsy. Muggsy makes the most comfortable jeans, chinos, and short or shorts and joggers ever. Made from buttery, soft, padded, and stretched materials that look stylish, but are insanely comfortable. They're never too baggy, never too tight. They're frankly the best thing to happen to legs since chairs. Never in human history have legs been so spoiled by the pure softness and comfort while looking so damn good. Mm -hmm. what, what are you grinning about, Randy? You looking at their crew neck selection no, right now? Dave sent me something on Slack. We'll, we'll, I'm sure we'll get to it okay. after that, Randy. It's probably a pair of slick mugsies, baby. Ooh, maybe that Cool Max. Oh, yeah. You and that Cool Max, the ones that are like air conditioners for your legs. I haven't slid into any yet, but I really want. Why to. have you not? Why have you not slid into any Cool Max? Be cool. Any. I don't own any. Will they spent years developing uh, the most breathable jeans ever, and you're just going to gloss over them? I, I, I wish I had some. I'm saying I want them. They're designed with lightweight fibers to ensure a cool breeze with every single step, Dylan. Yeah. Go from the backyard barbecue to the bar in one swift motion all summer long. Swamp ass. No, thank you. You're out of here, mister. It's so nice not having swamp ass. Yeah. I wore some non-Cool Max denim recently uh, to a dinner where it was quite warm. And uh, I'll, I'll be honest. There were some regrets that I did not have the Cool Max on my person at that point because it's the first time in a long time that I had to go I had to go do that walk where you go into the, uh, the bathroom, do a quick butt check and then walk out you got a little moist back there. i was like yo it's a little i see a little thing right there but mm. i think i think we can get b beyond this head over to mugsy.com get 10 percent off now using code steam that's 10 percent off some of the most premium jeans chinos swimwear and shorts on the internet they also offer free shipping and returns so there's absolutely no risk giving them a try and if you're in chicago boston dc or austin make sure to head downtown and check out their storefront as well easy vibes every time you can even have a beer while you shop get a little liquid courage when it comes to strutting your stuff and that new stuff dylan what'd you get into this weekend thanks for asking will I had a pretty excellent weekend uh friday night I saw you fine gentlemen even randy showed up did a little uh matt's el rancho outing our friend Klein was in town. Mr. DeFries was in town. Not you, but your father. I was gonna say, that's not, you can't call me. That's my father. He was man. excellent company. Every, everything was, it was a lot of fun. Had a great time. Followed that up with a little uh, Deep Eddie. Got some pitchers of beer. 
just a good time, man. Hey, uh, what'd you order on uh, on Friday evening at Matt's El Rancho? Why? 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 Why Why'd you? What'd you order? I got shrimp enchiladas. You got shrimp enchiladas. Shrimp enchiladas. You talk all this poncho game, and I I made the case that we maybe we should just get a bunch of ribeyes and make life styles life size poncho style nachos, and you just were not about it. I didn't hear you say that. No, he did pitch that. I didn't hear you say that. Whole squad just gets tortillas and a bunch of ribeyes. Um, I I have regrets about my, my order was fine. Like they were good, but they weren't poncho style. And so I, I was a little upset, a little disappointed. You turned down the okay. sizzle. I, I did. I turned down the sizz. Gross. But that's okay. Gross. I, look, you know, life is just one big learning experience. We're going to learn from this. We're going to move on. It's a dance. You learn as you go. That's sometimes right. Sometimes you lead, sometimes you follow. That's, that's right. Thank you, Dave. Saturday, went out uh, Dripping Springs way. Our friend Micah, Micah Weiner, had a St. Patrick's Day party. Excellent time. Probably more kids and adults there, but that's okay too. Kids, I like kids. Good time. The uh, alcohol. Sounds like you don't like kids, the, buddy. The, the alcohol array was vast and plentiful. Oh yeah, man. You I've heard some. I've heard some rumors about uh, a certain margarita machine maybe not working. That's uh, bad news. And I've I have yet to hear from as a stakeholder in this margarita machine. I have yet to hear from a certain Michael Weiner about the lack of function. If you like if you like your frozen margaritas to be on the rocks and it's a perfect margarita machine. Oh, good. <laughs> good yeah. to know. Very well it just, mixed. All it did was mix the ingredients. It's together. almost like the reason that this margarita machine was such a steal was because it didn't work. I think you guys need to put a little Freon in it. Cool it off. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what the problem was. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have a discussion. I didn't have I didn't have we're gonna have to have a board meeting. I talked to the bartender and he was kind of like Kevin, shout out to him. He's a good bartender. He's like, he's like, honestly, man, I don't know if this thing's ever been turned on before. <laughs> that seems like a good thing. It's well, fresh. he's like, they didn't, he's like, I don't think he tested it out. He's like, prime it, it or something. He's like, this thing just just was never gonna work. He was very, very down on the margarita machine. Damn. That's could could he just not want to deal with it because he's got enough to deal with of making cocktails for everybody? Maybe. His life would have been so easy if that cocktail machine, if the margarita machine was working, because all yeah. you got to do is just toss out a bunch of frozens. Yeah. I would have put my mouth under it and just turned that, that fucker on. That's what's up, dude. Yeah. That's yeah. what's yeah. up. Yeah, I do. Siphon yeah. it out. Brain freeze. Oh. That's a uh, that, brain tease. That concludes my, my weekend in fun. Just chill with Parks on Sunday. It was very chill. Dave, I yield my time to Don't you. Don't take a cocky Celsius sip before you talk about your weekend. <laughs> Well, dude, you saw me packing that fat lip earlier. Dude, you're always just packing lips. Dude, I threw in a freaking hog. There was a guy at, at Micah's house who was doing skull. Yeah, I saw it, dude. I was like, damn, dude. Yeah, I was talking that, to you him don't, about that, it. That's, you're, you're a rare breed these days. I know. I went and got one, just threw in a freaking lip. Dude, I did a horseshoe. You I, did? But yeah, I filled my whole bottom my whole bottom lip. They taped your mouth shut? I got very sick. It's not a good thing. I was throwing up in Micah's bathroom. But it was it was giving frat, so. I did give frat. Uh, Thursday, Randy and I went on a little... Uh, a date. We went on a date. A man, a, a date, a company date. It wasn't a company date. We went to, what's it called, Randy? K-Pot. K-Pot. I'm going to let you explain what it is. K-Pot is a Korean barbecue and hot pot place so it's all you can eat and it has tables where it has a little like grill in the middle and they give you a bunch of raw meat and then you cook it there and then uh they just get as much meat as you want and you just cook it and it's delicious look i'll tell you this if you like having like eight different variations of raw meat on your table at any given time this is your spot wait can you clarify are you the one cooking the meat or are they oh, cooking yeah. in front do you no, want to be cooking. cooking the meat you just toss it on there. Is there any part of you that wonders if there's a better person to cook the meat than, than yeah. the people sitting down at the table? Like a cook? Well, yeah. you are your own cook. It's like you're your own personal hibachi. You kind of are. Minus like the, the skill and flair. We tried doing onion volcano. It didn't work. Didn't work. But it was very good. Uh, did, did he? How did his meat turn out? Yeah, t Talk about Randy's the meat. The only L Randy took, and I have a photo of it, was Randy was like, well, I got to get the... I'll do my best, Randy. I gotta get the jumbo shrimp. Sounds just like me. <laughs> okay, and it's it, it's not deshelled, so they just oh put like, no, they just put the they just grab the shrimp out of the out of the Gulf and just bring them up. And Randy got it, tossed it on, 
And just look on his face when he tried it. You knew immediately. Like he's like, yeah, I didn't need to do this. It was bad. The garlic shrimp was delicious. Garlic shrimp was good. Shrimp was not good. It's always pretty devastating when you're at a restaurant and like the shrimp arrives just yeah. completely it's a lot of work. assembled. It's a lot of work. You know, I, I really don't like that. I just for some it. things it makes sense. For some yeah. things I understand having to deshell it yourself. But like if I order shrimp in a salad and it comes and there's tails on that shrimp, I'm like, what am I supposed to do with these tails? Right. I don't want these tails here. Just I cut it off, shit. Blair. The short rib and the pork belly were really good. The chicken was amazing. Will you return to K-pop? Yes. It's a scene. I'm okay. Gonna, I'm going to let you know now. Don't go in there thinking you're going to have a nice little quiet dining experience. Just, because it's just filled with Is this a scenario what? where you like go in saying, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat as much as I humanly can? It's like $32, $33, and it's... You can order the entire menu, and the price does not change. How much? Just you know, asking for me. Uh, how much is a zany cocktail there? Ask this guy. Uh, it was about eleven bucks, and it was and it wasn't great. It no, was she great. didn't. She didn't uh, put her heart into it. No, young lady at the bar, but she was nice. Um, there is, however, a like absolute massive jumbotron karaoke machine, like screen. Okay. The size, like honestly, this wall maybe longer. So they have like a full-on karaoke experience. Did y'all ever have, in San Marcos, did y'all ever have like a place where you could go rent out rooms and do karaoke in them with your friends? No. So you could get like 12 people together? No. This became a, a really popular thing for a very short period of time, and I think I only did it in Chicago and maybe Ann Arbor. There was a place in Austin who had that. You Pl could just Plentiful go rent social. a room. That's and it. You could just have like 12 people in there. In Ann Arbor, it was BYOB. So we just got like a 30 rack of beer and just started just belting out like Kid Rock songs. Punchbowl Social has that, which is like my least favorite place of all time. I, I get the vibes there are so off. I don't, I don't, that's your least favorite place it, of all the time. The vibes are just in the gutter. All time. That's your least Mine's favorite like place. Mine's like, I don't know, like the cemetery because it means yeah. something bad happened. Mm -hmm. or, yeah. Okay. Hospitals. Fair. Unless it's like for the birth of a child and then it's like the best place ever. Mm -hmm. but, you know, it's mm -hmm. a just you're, you're bringing up decent points and I, I will consider them. But for now, it's still punch bowl social. Prison. Not good. Mm -hmm. not, I've never been, so I wouldn't know. I thought you did two and a half there on a three. Oh, yeah. Y'all see, you see that video of the, the guard leaving that uh, cell? Yeah. Dude, what was she doing? What was she up to, What dude? was she doing to that? No, I have not. Oh. No, there's a there's a viral video. A little extracurricular time a, in a, cell. a guard oh. leaving a cell and locking up behind her. I'm locked up. Yeah, Don't what would let it, me? Uh, what would uh, what would if 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 there was a song written about this in the style of the country music playing in the office all morning? How would that go? She was guarding my cell for the last two weeks. <laughs> Came in and I had to clap them cheeks. It's good. It's good. Lock me up and threw away the key. Threw away Hell the yeah. key. It don't matter to me because I'm a G. How easy is it? How easy is it for these musicians to write these dumbass Almost country straight songs? Up G. My brother-in-law is so good at making up fake country songs that I'm positive he could just do it. Like the lyrics that just come out of his mouth. I'm like, you could just write these down and make a killing. Yeah. Dave yeah. could probably Dave could probably do that too. The country list we had out there this morning. And it's still on, for what I know. It is one of the most bizarrely bad. It's trash. You could tell Brett's got something going on. You could tell me that Brett has an, an AI generated country function on his Spotify that just comes up with random artists named like Kane and Cade, and this then is, puts their AI generated faces on the screen, and then they just have AI generated songs. Brett moves to Texas. He buys land and starts listening to the the corniest country music of all time. Oh my god! Okay, so the first thing that happened when we were at Matt's El Rancho on Friday, we walk up. My dad's meeting everybody. He's he's met people before, but you know you do that thing where you just re meet. Brett's wearing his Jackson Hole shirt, and the first thing my dad asks, <laughs> "You go to Jackson Hole?" <laughs> <laughs> I just busts it out laughing. Dude, Brett, Brett loves shirts from from small mountain towns. That he's never I'm pretty visited. sure he's leaving town this weekend and going to Jackson Hole for the first time, and I'm pretty sure he's doing it just to get his resume up for these shirts. Is he gonna wear the shirt to Jackson Hole? He should. I mean, I don't know if you do that. It's a clout play. That's like wearing that's like wearing the band shirt to the concert. Exactly. It's just oh my god, it is just a clout play. That's all this trip is. Will, it is. Will said my new bitch should be wearing Sarah Spro so good spring shirts mm -hmm. i want randy to get a oh, bunch of saratoga good. shirts made that just are in the same style yeah can steal I, the valor can i get my mats order yeah okay you said you were going flautas on the pod on wednesday just fyi people don't forget david did you lie people don't I forget did. it just it wasn't 
It didn't have. I'll then, say this to, to to credit David. Did, that Friday night did not have flauta energy. No, I wasn't giving flauta. I ended up. It was giving Matt special. Dude. What's the Matt special? Well, it's a taco and enchiladas. It's a it's a combination. And um, the only issue I have is they bring out the taco about ten to twelve minutes before the rest of the meal. So here's your taco. And I'm just thinking, like, man, you could have just tossed this on the plate with the enchiladas. Oh, no, dude, that's I'm what they do, though. Dude, that's what they do. They bring them out with the salads. I don't need a teaser taco. You're the only person I've ever seen get a soft shell uh, taco with that order. Yeah. I've ne I'd never seen It was jarring I seeing like it tortillas. come out. No, dude, I think it's a good play overall. I think mm -hmm. I'm going to start doing that, actually. But they always just bring it on a essentially a tortilla chip. Yeah. She was guarding myself for the last two weeks. I'm sorry, I can't. Going stop back thinking. to the chorus, I gotta see the video. So they were definitely fucking. That's the implication. Oh, but there's no proof of that, Dave. Well, so they threw the book at me, and then she threw that ass on me. Uh huh. We're working through it. Yeah, we'll get there. Sorry, that was a, a ill-timed Celsius. You can't drink Celsius in the middle of singing your yeah, what country are you doing? song. Saturday dude. was. Uh, we missed you, Will, but I, I'm I'm very excited to hear about your Saturday. <laughs> oh yeah. From what I uh, from what I understood, you're doing some good things out there. Oh yeah. Um, went to Micah's, St. Patty's, brought this brought Rhodes. One of those situations where, like Dylan said, a ton of kids, but that means there's a lot of uh, parents there. So if you can't find your kid for like seven minutes, you're not that worried because there's a ton of parents there. It's a great spot to be in. Yeah. Also, they ordered like one pizza per person. Uh, Micah, I. I don't want to throw anybody in the bus. Micah was, you could tell Micah was not real happy about the number of pizzas he just had to order. Tower of pizza they brought in. People were place. leaving with I'm, boxes of pizza. I'm surprised Micah didn't just do some homemade uh, corned beef and cabbage or something. You know, he, am, he, yeah. He's a yeah. dog like that. Yeah. It was a great time. It was good. Had some Guinness. Uh, there was a signature, there was a, a proper 12 uh, Moscow mule. Oh, David. Oh, proper 12. Which, delightful. Good time. Uh, was in bed by like 9.30 that night, which I love. And then yesterday was just like one of the most um, aesthetically pleasing rainy days. It's on very, again, off again. I love a dreary summer. Showers, thunderstorms, nothing severe, but just good downpours. Kept you in. Started watching The Gentleman on Netflix. I think I, I think it could earn both of your, uh, your business. What if I haven't liked anything Guy Ritchie's done for like 12 years? I think you will like it because of the cast. Okay. You've got my guy from um, White Lotus, the hot guy. What's his name again? Theo James. He's good. Um, his Very hot. The guy who plays his brother is good. Let me give you like just 10 seconds on it, and you can tell me if you're in or out. Um, he is the son of a duke. The duke! So you got the oh, royalty God. play. Dad passes away. He inherits the, um, the dukedom. The dukedom! <laughs> I don't know. Stop. Uh, his brother, who got passed over, is real wild ass cokehead, just shithead, and uh, gets in a real pickle with some uh, some unsavory characters. How does he get in in a pickle? He just crawls up in it. That sounds awesome. You probably know. That sounds so good. And uh, dill or from sweet? there, there's some weed, there's some pot, there's some. So mess. this is a modern day story. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 That changes things. I'm when gonna you, fuck with it. You when I it. see the gentleman and it has to do with a duke, I, my brain starts going to like the dukies. The dukies. Uh, my brain starts going to like 1800 stuff, which doesn't really nope. move the needle for Facts. me. Nope. This is this is modern day. Okay. That changes literally everything, David. Yep. Is that did that actor replace Army Hammer since he's like canceled mm -hmm. now? Dude, he, great he's, call. He's the he's the replacement. Dude, you just got my take of the week. Let's go, dude. It can get it Let's can get go. replaced at any time, but that's a really good take. I'll take it. Thank you. Yeah, when he saw Army Hammer go down, he was like, "Wait, my time. Wait, there's an opportunity for another generic looking white man, hot white man, to hot be fair. smoking hot white man." Yeah, I bet when he heard that news, he just threw a fat ass dip. In. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, just a big old pinch. Oh yeah, yeah. dude, uh -huh. he was just chilling. You know, mm -hmm. hey Siri, Probably. play like a G. <laughs> <laughs> jailhouse anthem jail um it's the new jailhouse rock he gave her the jailhouse okay now my iTunes. go ahead buddy. my itunes is just opening now I'm and sorry. trying to play a song called like a g this is not what we want here people yeah um let's get out of here and yeah my father was in town this weekend 
We had an absolute blast together. He got into town Wednesday night. Um, from there, he immediately broke the cork off of a nice bottle of bourbon, and we didn't know what to do with it, so we just drank it. And so uh, we got into it uh, in a good way, and uh, it was an absolute blast. It was a little fuzzy on Thursday morning for the retail therapy recording. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but what I did not realize when my dad came into town is that it was a straight up business trip for this guy. He did not want to mess around. Second, he sits down, he goes, you get a grill yet? I said, no, not yet. Just got done with the inside of the house. Now it's time for the outside. And he goes, all right, we're going to Lowe's tomorrow. We show up at Lowe's, get a grill. Uh, and, uh, suddenly we, he just goes, all right, I'm going to the garden section. I did not know. I thought he would just wanted to look around. The man's got a green thumb. Probably one of the best gardeners I know. Let's get that checked out. We go, he goes into the garden section. And suddenly, he's got one of those big, big carts, and he's just pushing stuff around. I'm like, oh, he's putting me to work. So from Thursday until uh, he left on Sunday morning, it was just all garden all the time. Boys were just lethargically hanging out at the crib, just doing gardening tasks, enjoying ourselves. We did go to Carve on Thursday evening. It's famously prime rib night. Yes, it is. Carve. It hit. It hit. Uh, oh, I couldn't yeah. finish my prime rib, which I'm kind of embarrassed about. What? It's really sad performance. <laughs> I will say this. Had we, our waiter at Carve been a little more active and present in our life, I think we really could have kicked back some cocktails at that dinner. It was a skeleton crew in there that night. Oh, people no. were, you could see the people were, that were working were just grinding, and they didn't have time to check in on their tables enough. I was ready to go. Yeah. Had a great time, though. I mean, I, I know nothing about gardening, but this weekend alone, I've realized, okay, I can't let this garden die. My dad my dad put too much work into this. He taught me too much over the week. I, I got to figure this out. Can you give us a sneak peek of what was planted? You know, we did some... It's going to be difficult for me to identify these plants by name. Um, we, we have some plants that are going to grow much larger than they are right now to take up some room in the garden so I don't have to do a lot of maintenance and upkeep on this thing. Um, we got some flower boxes that have been set around. I need to have Randy over and really assess this because he, he's my garden king. He's my plant daddy. It's true. Plant daddy season two from the seed. But if oh. you see your boy out there in the middle of summer, uh, just, you know, watering his plants, give me a little honk. Say hello. Maybe. It's an old timey car. I just Ooh, drove by. Yeah, I did miss the party. I didn't miss Micah's party, unfortunately. <laughs> um, as I did not realize the aggressive gardening schedule that was going to transpire throughout Saturday. And so Sally went without me with the kid. And uh, yeah, uh, I, I did enjoy some Guinness on Saturday evening. That's good. I fired up that grill. We had some barbecue chicken. Vibes high. Austin FC, 2-2 two, two draw. Okay. Boys are just absolutely buzzing. Mm -hmm. It's a good draw. I watched so much Players' Championship this weekend. Same. It's, you know, it's fun. I, I don't think I've ever watched... I, I think Players' Championship might be above some majors for me in terms of watching, and I don't think it's just because we had the greatest weekend of all time there. I thought the coverage was good. I thought it was very good. I was very happy with it. I that course is just gorgeous. And knowing on Sunday that everything's going to come down to 17 and what happens, it's just a really fun scenario. It's you know me, really though. Great. I just I I don't play P die courses. I you can't, dude. I just don't. Can't. That's a thing about I, me. I played a P die course with you before many nah, times. Not my thing. I just I refuse to. Shout out to Chris. Chris Harrison <laughs> of Bachelor Fame refuses to play Pete Die courses. He doesn't do it. It's such a rich oh. it's such a rich guy move to beef with a uh, imagine, a golf course designer. You play so much imagine. good golf that like you you're picking and choosing like that's an architect I don't fuck with. I have never I, I maybe maybe I just don't have this in me, but I've never looked up the architect of a course beforehand just nah, to see if I'll, I'll 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 jive with it. What did, did he say why? He just doesn't he, he doesn't like he doesn't he just like the water. Doesn't ple it's not it's pleasing to the too eye. Too challenging. I think, yeah, I don't think he said the word hokey, but I think he, like, a gimmicky might have come out of his mouth. Okay. First guest on our pod. Yeah. Right? You're damn right. You're damn right. And then last night I finished the greatest, uh, the greatest series of television I've watched in 2024, which is Traders Season 2 American oh, Version. Highly wait. recommend. Very satisfying 11 episodes of television to anyone out there. If you would like to DM me and discuss this, holler at your boy. What a time. I have a big omission from our weekend at fun. We well, got to give a shout out to intern Klein. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just one. I, I mentioned Klein. I would like it if Klein came, know, Klein came into like town a weekend where I didn't already have a ton of stuff on my schedule that took me away from him the entire time. 
But as long as he's coming to town and still uh, being relevant in our lives, I'm okay with it. Yeah, he's um, he's a he's a fun guy, and his wife, lovely <sighs> wife Lexi, and I, I got to play golf with him Friday. He just, I I watched him just absolutely put a Costco in between his three wood and my drive. It was just really impressive. It's really cool, not demoralizing at all. So shout out to him. Shout out to our good friend Ryan, who went to uh, dinner with us too and had us out. He sizzled with me when others. Did I know. Not. I know. I feel bad for not sizzling with y'all. I'm looking at Dylan. Dylan sorry, had me off around the fucking table. Dude. I already admitted that I I blew my shit. So yeah, you were probably you were probably just pretty full from already eating, you know, factors delicious ready to eat meals. <laughs> That's what it was. I know you were you were eating pretty hard on uh, Friday afternoon, but every fresh, never frozen meal from them, yeah, it's chef crafted, dietitian approved, ready to go in just two minutes. You'll have over 35 different options to choose from every single week including Calorie Smart, Protein Plus. They even have keto for all my keto boys out there. And guess what? They got more than 60 add-ons to help you stay fueled up and feeling good all day long. What are you waiting for? Get started today and get after your goals. They included a bunch of wellness shots last time. I holler at those things so hard. A little ginger. Dude, I love it. I love lemon. I love that little cayenne buzz after it's that great. ginger hits. Are you kidding me? It's a great way to do it. But in terms of meals, I love these things. They're two-minute meals. You can fuel up fast with their restaurant-quality meals that are ready to heat and eat where, whenever you are. They got pancakes, smoothies, and more. They have a wide variety of easy options for the entire day, like breakfast, midday bites, and more. And no prep, no stress meals. Their meals are ready to eat, heat and eat, so there's no prepping, cooking, or cleanup needed. These things are truly filling and truly very, very good. Um, it's just a perfect solution if you're looking to eat fast premium options with no cooking required. Maybe you just had a kid or something. Maybe you just don't want to cook every single night and you still want to get just absolute just callous in your life. Go to Factor. Head to factormeals.com slash backer50. Use code backer50 to get 50% off. That's code backer50 at factormeals.com slash backer50 to get 50% off. Mind if we go up Montana way real quick? This is absurd. What, dude? I don't think we should be criticizing this man. I think this no, man should be this celebrated. Is this is not good. Dude, this guy should be celebrated. There's a dude in Montana who's just, he's built so different that he's decided that he wants to build other animals different, mainly sheep. This is an, an old man. Yeah, some old dude, an 80-year-old Montana man, faces prison time after authorities say he spent nearly 10 years trying to create a giant sheep hybrid to sell to hunting facilities. Dude's out here just hybrid sheeping. We've Wait, all been there. He's in prison? According to the U.S. Department of Justice, Arthur Jack Scubarth oh. has pled guilty to two felony wildlife crimes, a conspiracy to violate the Lacey Act. I, dude, you cannot violate the Lacey Act. Oh, my God. He don't violated Lacey. Uh, don't violate Lacey. Lacey always chooses the wrong guys. I might have to look up what the, the Lacey Act is. I'm Enacted in 1900, <laughs> the are? Lacey Act aims to protect wildlife, fish, and plants from illegal trafficking. I like the don't. There wasn't a shock. No one knows what the Lacey Act is. Okay. Uh, first enacted in 1900, the Lacey Act combats trafficking of illegally <laughs> taken wildlife, fish, or plants. The 2008 Farm Bill amended the Lacey Act and extended protections to a broader range of plants and plant products. Anyway, you get it. Well, he conspired with a, a squad. Between 2013 and 2021 to, quote, create a larger hybrid species of sheep that would garner higher prices. He brought parts from the largest sheep in the world, Marco Polo Argali sheep from Kyrgyzstan mm. to the U.S. without declaring importation. And the average males weigh more than 300 pounds and span more than five feet. They're protected internationally and domestically are prohibited in Montana. What parts? Yeah. What, can you just bring parts in? Yeah, and what like, does that mean? Yeah. Like, that sounds weird. That's a weird way to phrase it. Like a foot and an ear? Like, can we do this with other animals? Yeah. If you're like going to make a hybrid Oof. of any animal, what are you going to do? Ooh, probably a bison and a tiger. A biger? That would be a fucking absolute resilient A Tyson? Animal. Ooh, a Tyson. A Tyson. A Tyson's actually pretty I like good. I that better. Is Mike Tyson really fighting this Paul brother? Yes. You can't do hybrids of animals of a different genus. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Dude, it's weird when you say genus. It's my science like that. lab. Why do you wink after you say genus every time? I'm the one with the Bunsen burner. I'm the one who tried to make this company Bunsen Burner Media. We should have kept it. It was. It was, it was just the burner LLC name. It was just the LLC name. It was the. It was the company for two weeks. It, it was. Yeah. You can call the LLC anything, right? It just. Yeah. yeah. Well. I get. Remember I guess. what you wanted to call it? 
No. Want, yeah, you do. I, I, yeah, but I want Big to Dick say. Baller Media? No, come on, man. That's what you wanted to call it. I don't mm -hmm. think that's just, they're not going to approve that one. So we're not getting these giant hybrid sheep then. Why don't you calm down? Let them do the story. I don't know. I mean, we could we could try to procure some. What are they going to do with these sheep? Hey, you, you see that they made a ma major advancement in the uh, woolly mammoth, bringing it back. No, you saw Ross's reel, didn't you? No. Okay, Ross did a reel on this the other day. I what is it? What happened? They're bringing them back. They, they they found that they they took a step forward i don't know is this so they the can go mammoths? to the russian tundra and eat the permafrost yeah it's gonna be good for the environment david it's like gonna save the world so why are, why are scientists and i put that in quotes allowed to make woolly mammoths but our man uh jack up in montana can't just create some hybrid sheep to uh maybe get a little little more skrill in his bank account i think, I think because the woolly mammoth serves a legitimate purpose for our ecosystem he just went, jack was just going to sell these to to ranches so people could go hunt giant sheep that's, that's kind of bullshit that's that's legitimately what he was doing <laughs> it was just so they could be killed that's pretty fucked up it is pretty fucked up can you imagine the lamb chops on these things that's a good point. Are lamb chops from sheep? Or are they from like just lambs? What's the difference? When these babies are born, you think they know that they're like a new an a new animal that hit the streets? They come out with like a six like, pack. Oh, it's extreme self awareness. I'm the first of my kind. Let's fucking do this. I don't know if they've got that intelligence. Then Dolphins just, though, man. Then they just get got by a hunter. Dolphins are smart as hell. It, bigger brains than people, David. Right. Surprised you didn't know that. I did. We've done that like three times. Surprised you didn't know that. I did. Don't violate the lazy egg, David. Oh my God. So he did not text back. And then I felt so stupid. I texted him last night. I was like, look up. Like, you double nah. texted him? Well, we were out for St. Patty's. We were uh, at Kelly's. We were doing so many Irish car bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you're not supposed to call it that. Yeah, you can't call it that anymore. But like, I was so drunk from the pink panty dropper punch that we had the pregame that like, I, <laughs> just, I just went up and ordered it. Y'all made PPD? We made, yeah. <laughs> we didn't just make it. We finished it. Oh my God. I had it in my. Aquafina bottle that I brought to the bar and they they confiscated it. What a that. shitty bottle to bring. Aquafina? The worst possible bottle you could bring to the bar. I, I was in I was in Goblin Mountain. <laughs> Remember when Nalgene really Nalgene was like the thing? Yeah. Old Gene loved water. Before Yeti came out and now it's Stanley. This was an audacious scheme to create massive hybrid sheep species to be sold and hunted as trophies. Sick. It's just that's weirdo shit. This, how, how he's big just, are these fuckers he's just be? doing shit with his boys, dude. This is what rednecks do. Like, just let him let him let figure him it out. As long as these things aren't like I don't know, running rampantly in neighborhoods and tearing up no, the ground. What's the big will. deal? This is how the pigs started. This is the problem with the, the feral oh. pigs. Are fucking pythons the domestics. still out of control in Florida? You said your python was out of control. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, Randy. This weekend and fun. No, I just, really. I don't yeah. think we should be critic. Jack's late in life. No, he's not above criticism because he's an old man. I heard he's he was doing it to protect his property from all the, uh, all the people that were trying to get it from him. Well, they were they were trying to build an airport out there, and um, you know he had a, a gang of uh, neo Nazis try to assassinate his entire family. Really? So his defense was to make some hybrid sheep, mm -hmm. and they were going to ward off these uh, neo-Nazis and the government and eminent domain. It was a very, very, like, half-assed plan, but apparently, you got to do something. Apparently his family just has killed a bunch of people. His through. daughter's, like, a real fucking wild card. Like, objectively hot, but just a, a real bitch, if we're being honest. Yeah. That's her problem. If y'all could take genes or DNA from... Like Muggsy? Yeah from like your current dog and you could regenerate your dog would you regenerate your dog like clone my dog like like so once randy passes rest in peace there's a new just randy. Have, you could just go you could run back randy no it no. it's technology's there if faced with that it would be hard for me to say no no i no i that's a little what about these people who get their animals stuffed after they pass that's a weird move it is weird don't do that what are you supposed to do with them? That should be illegal to stuff an animal. What do they do with them? Most dogs are uh, incinerated. I buried my dog once. Really? Yeah. I'm sorry that your dog This passed. pod was really fun for the first 44 minutes. I didn't bury it that deep, and so I, I've had fears that it was found eventually. Like Pet cemetery. Uh It was in our backyard. 
But I had to I had to pay tribute, you know. When Randy murked those uh two little bunnies. Two I, little I buried bunnies. Them, but they were they are outside in my Randy's mouth. They were. I buried them. I did I did not bury them very deep. You should have eaten them. It's the end of that story. You could have had some rabbit, dude. It's a good story. I man. could have made a nice stew. You could make a risotto with it. Oof. What's up with this risotto? This guy could do five years. Sorry. Dude, you can't put him in jail. Let him be on house arrest at his fucking ranch. Like, yeah, this stop, guy doesn't deserve dude. prison. Like, just stop. Bro, just sell the ranch. Dude. He's not even going to be on the show this season. Dude, remember the ranch in like 2018? I was talking about the ranch with somebody at dinner. It's not a good... That's a bar. That's probably on my... That's top two or bottom two bars for me to be at in Austin. If I'm at the ranch, something has gone wrong. It's the young. It's the youngest of the West Six bars. It's so young, and I don't want to walk upstairs to to go to a bar that I'm way too old to be at. It gives dirty six. Yeah, it does. Don't you want to I mean? walk upstairs. It's true. This there's dude two does not do stairs. stairs when he drinks. No, typically no. No, if there's an elevated if there's an elevated bar situation in a party district like Sixth Street, I probably don't need to be there. It's fair. I mean, ground level only. Fair. Ground level only. No, I saw this tweet. Do you guys see this? Um, it's from The Guardian, which is a publication. Guardian. Um, they say that the, the need for independent journalism has never been greater. Become a Guardian supporter. Okay, well, what, do I, what kind of stories am I going to get? Well, here's one. Okay. I didn't eat proper risotto until I was nearly 30. And now, drought may take it off menus forever. <gasps> this poor forever. woman, she didn't eat proper risotto until she was like, Almost 30. Forever? Maybe maybe I, if I she would have been eating more risotto early in the game, she could have gotten, I don't know, more of a market share for risotto in every everyday people's routines. Well, you, you, you guys bring back risotto. Well, Dylan, that's where you're wrong. But, yeah, don't talk about bringing things back when the forums are out there just flapping in the wind right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crazy. Seriously, dude, you're showing your ass right now. I'm sorry. They're not. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about bringing them back. You see, the trouble has to do with the climate crisis. I know that's something that you don't care about. Your track record's up there with uh, Taylor Swift. <laughs> Come on. Have you guys seen? Have you guys seen the meme of of what it looks like in her place when she goes to get a glass of water it's in the middle a, of the night? A plane crashed through a house. Yeah, it's just a plane crash. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Dylan, risotto rice varieties such as uh, Arborio and. Uh, Carnaroli are grown in the Po Valley, a floodplain in the north of Italy where the challenge for farmers used to be to keep the water away, but now everything's topsy-turvy. In 2022, the worst drought in 200 years struck the Po and the river that feeds the system of canals that irrigates the paddy field. Uh, as a result, Italy lost 26,000 uh, hectares of rice fields and production of the grain dropped by more than 30%. So I guess that's pretty hilarious to you that there's farmers out there um, unable to yield a crop. I'm just saying, like, there's no way risotto is just going to cease to exist at some point. Because some got, dickhead in Montana is going to make it. There's going to be a way to, like, you know, hey, we 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 found a fix. We found a workaround. Like, what, if, we got risotto what if we got again. these farmers together and they came up with a hybrid risotto that didn't need as much water? Damn it. There we go. Or what if like we found those... out on Saturday Will and his dad were making some, uh, doing some rice fields? Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm harvesting that, a lot of rice in my garden. you growing rice at your place? Yep. Yep. That's a... It's a heavy lift. I'm going to give Dave the gift of rice. I know he likes it a lot, so I decided to harvest some. Dave does love rice, man. Oh, they, they messed up your order at Matt's. Dave does. He replaces the bean. He goes double rice, and they went double beans. Instead. See, you and Sally just need to collab because she goes double beans, dog. So they hit me with that <laughs> double beans, just and I was like, swap? this is so many beans. Here's what y'all do. You eat your, your rice off your plate. She'll eat her beans, and then y'all just trade plates. I love trading plates with people. And then you eat her rice, she'll eat your beans. Yeah, you see your boys switching plates with your wife yeah, mid-meal, mid <laughs> and you, your, your brain starts to trail off hey, a little bit. bit. What's going on? You got to lose the conversation you were in a little bit. <laughs> they, they have an understood agreement. Yeah. Y'all get, get home, and she's like, Why were you so quiet at dinner? Like, saw you trading plates. Yeah, I saw you eating Dave's beans. <laughs> you, do you let Dave uh, Why are you eating Dave's have beans? your plate, huh? Just trading huh? plates. Huh? Not weird at all. Can we make a frat line of clothing from Wash Media, like a Fog's hat? Yes. Like a Frocket tee? Dog's hat. We have a Bring Back the Forums. Actually, I think you should just have – Al Gliz's campaign slogan should just be Bring Back the – Make the Forums again. No. You want me to write this down? No, no, make no. The no I forums want you to again. put up what I sent you. Oh, okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. My dude. Speaking of gogs, Dylan, 
don't know if you oh. saw this. Um, going to give you the chances before this gets out there to either just kind of clarify your position on taking money from um, the military industrial complex. Because yeah. allegedly there's a Boeing slash Wiener Mobile collab, according to uh, at B-Sickles on Twitter. That's a good name for it because you combine Boeing and Wiener. It says Boner. To be the Boner Mobile. Mm -hmm. You want to comment? I, I have no comment. This looks like it's parked in Austin, Texas. Why do you say Texas? Yeah. That's where it's parked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what what gives Austin in this picture? Uh, the, the parking or the, the bricks, building? Behind? Yeah, the bricks in the background. The sky. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of like that dude on TikTok who you can just show me a photo of something and I he, can tell you exactly where it is. He knows exactly where this is. Yeah. Yeah. Is this thing going to be faulty like the rest of the uh, Boeing stuff? Dylan? I don't know, but I will say uh, anytime that a picture comes across your TL of the Wienermobile, you don't have to send it to me. I don't need to see it. But thank you for doing it. Um, I've, I've seen plenty. I know what it looks like. Have you seen point. it in person? Yes, I have. Okay. Have you seen it in person randomly? Yes. There's one that I've seen twice in Austin just driving down the street, and it makes me laugh every single time. I saw one on Mopac one time, just, just cruising. Just a big old wiener on the road. I got cut off by somebody recently in Austin, and the person had their Instagram at on the back of their car because they clearly use it for business purposes as well. And I couldn't help but just go to that person's Instagram profile and just absolutely hate on them Shut the second up. it happened. You did not. I was so mad. I didn't like, I didn't comment or anything, but I did go to their Instagram and see see what kind of person I was working with. I'll be honest, they make really good looking cookies. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You're you're a fan now? Well, <laughs> I saw it and I was like, honestly, like they're making a good run at this cookie business. So like I, you know, maybe they had to get somewhere. Hmm. Maybe they had to get somewhere. When was the last time you guys had a good risotto? Last time I had I've only made risotto once. I was in Jackson Hole. J Hole. We were there for work, and they uh, they were like, yeah, and at 2 o'clock, we're going to this cooking class. We're making risotto. And I was like, man, 2 o'clock on a Saturday in Jackson Hole? Like, what if we did anything but a cooking class right now? What if I just drank at a bar with a bunch of dead animals on the wall? That sounds dope. They got those big sheep there? No, I don't think they had any hybrid sheep at that point. I think that was around 2018 way. Uh -huh. Risotto might be a little overrated. I don't know if risotto getting like extinct like really moves the needle for me that much. It's certainly not my go-to. I hope Rachel Cook can survive. I mean, this is just kind of a lesson to all y'all. Like, live life to the fullest. You never know. <laughs> go eat some risotto. risotto. will go away forever. Shout out to the Po Valley. Something tells me that risotto is going to be around for a minute, though. I just get oh, a feeling. Wow. The okay. Zotes? Yeah. Just feel like it. Risostradamus over here. I'm, I'm bullish on Fucking risotto idiot. moving forward. Are I don't you? think you should put bull in risotto. I'm a little sheepish on it. You gotta take it's the Celsius good. away from this guy. It's a the cocky beverage are there, out buddy. of control. You can't tell a man did not cocky sip his Celsius. I'm it's just not, loving it. It's not man. business I'm in. Kind of over Dave right now. Nutrafol is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement brand with over 1 million people seeing thicker, stronger, faster growing hair with less shedding i'm gonna be straight up honest with you boys got some packages to the crib the other day you ever have a good package day where you're like oh man i got so many packages coming to the crib right now i'm just gonna be playing with new stuff all day i threw everything to the side i got that neutrophil out and i was like yeah that's a good package day. oh yeah damn that's what's up you know i've been growing my hair out a little bit a lot of a lot of comments regarding the flow lately dave thinks i'm growing a mullet which is he is he going to get a you, mullet? You would crush in a mullet. Dude, I, I think I'm getting to the point where I'm mullet adjacent, but that's because of our friends over at Nutrafol. Their hair growth supplements are physician formulated using 100% drug-free ingredients, and their patented technology provides consistent, reliable results without compromising your sex life, Dylan. Don't want to do that. A lot of, a lot of these uh, supplements, they rely solely on ingredient studies. Nah, nah, not Nutrafol. Mm -hmm. They clinically test final formulations to ensure their efficacy. A lot of y'all aren't ensuring your efficacy out there, and it shows. Mm -hmm. But in a clinical study, 84% of men, yes, I said 84% of men, showed improvement in their hair after six months of taking Nutrafol, their men's hair growth supplements. Take the first step to visibly thicker, healthier hair. For a limited time, Nutrafol is offering our listeners $10 off your first month subscription and free shipping when you go to Nutrafol.com slash men and enter promo code CIRCLING. Find out why over 4,500 healthcare professionals and hairstylists recommend Nutrafol for healthier hair. Nutrafol.com slash men, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com slash men, and enter promo code CIRCLING. That's Nutrafol.com slash men, promo code CIRCLING. 
Every time I spell something in an ad read now, do you guys think about that, how I get scared during it? Ever since I've admitted that to the, the world? Uh, I, kinda. I don't think about it, but I, I understand the feeling. Every time I spell now, I think to myself, now that I've announced it to the world, it's present in people's minds. What do you, what's so funny, David? Uh, I just think about the one time that I was doing that ad read and done too much dip, and I just thought about how that would be like the worst possible raffle. Yeah. Or the best, depending on what side of the raffle you're on. <sighs> We're supposed to get an announcement today from Buckingham Palace. You guys familiar with this place? We are? Is there going to be a little trumpeteer? So I don't know what's going on. And I don't think, I don't know if there's anything that's been announced so far this morning. But I woke up, I, I had one of those, you know, wake up at 2.30 in the morning things going on. Signed it on my Twitter timeline while I was laying in bed trying to get, get back to sleep. And I saw a bunch of people saying, dude, the BBC just changed their... Uh, their logo on Instagram from being red to being black. Wait, what does this mean? What does this mean? Wait, do they have like a, like we had the terror threat level? BBC level black. Yeah. Does that, is that, is this unprecedented? Apparently that happened. And, uh, and allegedly some videos come out of, uh, of King Charles, uh, walking around today. So apparently he's not dead. And so if he's okay. not dead, then what else are we going to get? Have you guys seen any oh. new uh, theories that you're in on for Kate? No, I haven't. Okay. Okay. I read um, something about her um, being in Montana for some kind of sheep hybrid farm mm -hmm. thing. It was a weird deal. Mm -hmm. I don't believe there's any smoke there. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. And I'm looking at Twitter right now. I see people having fun with this. I'm photoshopped uh, statements from the... Yeah, that's the new meme format of the morning. Um, let's see. Let's see. This says, uh, Dave just showed me one uh, breaking news. It says, uh, the Buckingham Palace has announced with profound regret that royal correspondent Nicholas Witchell has wanked himself into a coma. I, Is he our goon of the week? Maybe. He's wanked got some, himself into a coma. He's got some stiff competition. Put the fucking... Do you, think, do, do you think there's any way that she's, <laughs> she's just having a goon sesh right now? I, I I gotta think that's not what's Kate, going on. Kate, come out! Come out of the palace. You can't. You you must come out, me lord. Yeah. We as much as we respect a proper gooning, it's been we a need month. you to show face. It's been months, madam. <laughs> I don't like on? to interrupt a stretch of this goon. People are wondering. Dylan, something nefarious is Kate, has to be going on. Kate, I know you're in the midst of an all-time goon sesh. But please, we cannot keep this any longer. You're putting up big numbers. This is Wilt Chamberlain style. You've been trending for days. Go ahead. When is this going on? Wait, when is the announcement happening? <laughs> Dude, so I don't know. They so say, actually... so there's, rumors, there's rumors that like she'll be out till Easter, which like the people can't wait till Easter. They, they, they got to move fast. This is, a, this is a pivotal week for the royal family. Are they still saying she's recovering from that abdominal surgery yeah. that she had? Yeah, yeah. Which, if, if that's if that's all that's going on, then we all look like a bunch of fools. But, but then why release the the fake photo? To throw people off the scent you know of I mean? the goon. This whole thing just it doesn't smell right, David. It's low key giving goon. It it's is not. kind of giving goon a little it's bit. Not. It could. I don't know. It that. could. It, it, there would be if this was Prince William who was not seen for two months. There would be oh many more God. gooning allegations. You know that dude's a real beater. Okay. He's with. He's with what's Look her face. He's with that Chumley chick, his mistress. Like the the Baroness of Chumley or something like that. The Baroness of Chumley. Something. That's a dope title. His mistress is like just catching strays in the news right now. Does she do that thing where she, um, when she like attacks, she can like get onto her head and like helicopter kick? That's Chun Li. I'm sorry, that's a different female. No, Chun Li was from uh, that that show Pawn of Stars. Pawn Stars, Stars, yeah. yeah. Oh, Chun Li, right. dude, he's doing really well apparently. Is he? Yeah, good, good for him. Good. Is, is he like shoe nice? I got worried about all the Pawn Stars guys. I was like, I see, I could see these guys getting a bunch of money and maybe using it to do some nefarious things. Hey, best I can do is two hundred bucks. <laughs> do you guys ever watch? Like, they wanted they wanted seven grand. You ever watch like Antiques Roadshow? No, but I better be into it. It's kind of lit. Yeah. You remember my buddy Matt Kelly? Yeah. 
in, in law school, he'd, like he'd show up to class and be like, "Oh fuck, what would you do last night?" I like, stayed up to like four watching Pawn Stars. Dude, I used to watch the shit. It's out addictive, of dude. Why? It's addictive. Some dope shit made it into that store, man. Yeah, it was I know, I get it, but just like, it's just a long four out four a.m. is just very late. I love it when they'd be like, "Oh, we have a trading card of a uh, 17th century uh, British soldier," and he's like, "Oh, we got a guy for that. We're gonna bring him in. We got a guy." Yeah, I love that. Uh, so I'm gonna give guys. I'm gonna give some guy a call. I'm gonna get my friend in here if that's okay. Just sit tight. And he knows everything there is to know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This guy, yeah, he was a soldier around 1638. <laughs> so, died in some friendly fire. It's a good show. Yeah. Well, if Kate's not going to be our goon of the week, let's introduce our goon of the week. Speaking of wanking into a coma. This guy needs to be put... He needs to be put in solitary for what he's been doing here. Uh, Dylan, you're not going to like this story, but a moviegoer uh, has been uh, caught gooning uh, within the confines of a, a Detroit movie theater. Oh, Detroit. Yeah, this was at a, uh, a screening of a film called Love Lies Bleeding, which is a film about two lesbian lovers who are bodybuilders. Ooh, okay. Kristen Stewart. And uh, so they were doing a screening and some people went to it. And then unfortunately, uh, some some guy took things a little too far. And it says a not safe for work photo of a man um, uh, asleep in a reclining movie theater chair with his penis exposed was posted okay. by Twitter user at UglyXKorean, who captioned the image, okay. went to go see Love Lies Bleeding, and this drunk guy jacked himself off to sleep. And uh, you were Pee Wee Herman on. I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to talk oh. about this today until I saw the absolute goon setup that he had next to him in a public movie theater. Can you he zoom zoom on asleep? that table. He fell asleep in his chair. Dude, this guy's got a setup. Can look you look at all the, look at all the bevies the, on his? Not the piece, but the other stuff. Dylan, we, he's got we, a. We, we blurred it out. Cigarettes. Further. He's got a. In this guy's arsenal at a public movie theater, he has two bottles of Fireball. Uh, a coffee, which he has not taken one sip of, clearly. A pack of cigarettes. Holy Trinity. Uh, an elf bar. Uh, a lottery? No, that's not a lottery ticket. That's probably just his uh, movie ticket. Yeah. But he's got a real good setup right now if you're really going to go full bore at this. It, is, that that a line, is that a line of cocaine right there? What is that? No, I think that no, might I'm... just be like a cigarette. A Lucy. Is that a second elf bar behind the cuff here? Hey, it man. It looks like we have dueling elf bars. <laughs> <laughs> like, Oh, my God. What was this guy's plan? He just You're, loves bodybuilders. Just wait till you get home to do all this shit. Just go find some of this shit on Reddit, dude. I'm sure it exists. Can I give you guys um, a little bit of from the plot of this movie, Love Lies Bleeding, and you can tell me whether this is justified or not? Is yeah. this a justified jacking? Okay. We're taking him to jack court. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. People's court? Yeah, it's good. It's like that, but it's just for jacking. It's good. In 1989... Gym manager Lou meets a woman named Jackie working out at the gym and falls in love with her. Jackie, unbeknownst to her, had gotten a job at Lou's father's, Lou Sr., shooting range after having sex with Lou's brother-in-law, JJ. Jackie is passing through town to get, a body, to get to a bodybuilding competition in Las Vegas. Lou offers her steroids, which Jackie initially refuses but ends up taking. The two have sex, and Jackie asks to stay at Lou's apartment. That's, so, just something that might be, I don't know. Will you wait for it to hit Hulu? Or will you go see it in theaters? I'm not going to theater this. But I'll watch the trailer when it hits Hulu. You got steroids. You got sex. Mm -hmm. You got a shooting, shooting range. range. Those are the three. That's You said those are the three things you look for in movies. <laughs> I don't remember mm -hmm. saying that. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. Would you like this more if it was about baseball and they're at a batting cage? Yeah. And they were doing steroids? I'm not going to pound fireball and, and, and pull on my elf bar when I watch this. What, like what if Sammy Sosa and McGuire were hooking up through that entire run? That'd be a story for sure. I wish I was older for that. I wish I would have been like 16 when that was happening. Like you. I, I was. Yeah. That's how old I was. What summer was it? 98. Damn. I was 15. Pre-9-11. America was hitting at that point. Yeah. We just had dudes just bombing home runs. Just we hadn't been attacked up. yet. Vibes were high. Vibes were high. God. What a time, Dave. Take me back. The Lacey Act yeah, what wasn't you, being you, enforced. What, what have you been saying around the office lately? Make America great again? <laughs> no, you were saying make America goon again. I don't remember saying oh. that. A lot of gooning. A lot of goon. I gotta get it over the goonie. Yeah, man. You gotta get over They're it. They're going to the theaters. Two elf bars. <laughs> One's not enough. <laughs> gotta bring two. They're short. 
I don't know what an elf bar is. It's just a vape. It's a vape, dog. It's a vape, dude. Nicotine. You got to you got to get that in These your kids, arsenal. They love the dude. vape. They go home, they tell their parents. <laughs> it's, it's not the, yeah, you can't, bad vapes. You can't call it a vape if you cuz calling it a vape now like everyone that's knows the word cool. vape. If you call it an elf bar, you get the the chuckle of like, "Oh, that's a funny name for those things." Yeah. Okay. I've never hit an elf bar before. Maybe that, if that doesn't change at a meetup in the near future, I'm going to be a little upset. I did pretty recently actually. Really? Yeah. Friday? Didn't they have elf bars? Uh, when I played that that golf scramble with with the squad. Uh, well, Flav, strawberry was lemonade, it just elfing, like strawberry ice or some shit. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. Were you and the boys elfing? My 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 that friend group because they took the Escobars off the shelves, so now they're elf bar boys. You can't they get a Escobar bar anymore. You can't get a you can't get an Escobar anymore. Sheesh. I know. What can you get in America these days? Dave, I got a hat idea for you. I can't you. even crank in Texas. Yeah, I was going to say, we should make a make Texas Goon Again hat. It's a black hat with orange uh, orange font text. It, what's going on in Texas? Well, make Texas do, Goon Again. You can't buy beer before noon on Sunday. Can't watch porn anymore. Can't watch porn. Can't buy weed legally. Can't what gamble. can we do? I thought everyone no talks gambling. about everyone talks about how yeah you can't sports bet like I, everyone talks about how like Texas is this free place like I feel like I feel like we should have a little more rights when it comes to f bopping with the boys. Let me gamble from my phone. Good point. And hit a dispensary on a Friday night. Nope. Got to drive to Oklahoma, Louisiana if you want to do your gambling. Shout out Choctaw though, fun casino. Is it going to change at some point? You know, we have a guy who might know. Beto O'Rourke. No, it's not Beto. Well, that man will never win an election no, in I Texas. I think he's kind of, he has to have said, you know what? He needs to go to, I don't know if they have any agencies out there that turn you, like that turn you from being a joke into not a joke, but he needs to go to that agency. Because <laughs> oh, like, he's just a punchline at this point. Well, he did famously skateboard onto stage. He also had uh, his entire campaign team doing push-ups in, in an airport. Randy started doing the Pete Buttigieg uh, high hope dance at the middle of the K-pop bar. Uh, Dave sent it to me because I had no idea what that dance was, and it is it is just it's trash. It's a great Fall Out Boy song. Can high you demonstrate right here for us. Ready, Randy? Cause I got high hope. Na, 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 na. Yeah, there it is. Now you gotta do the clap. <laughs> this has Tony P vibes. It's very. I it's bet bad. Tony Pete's big. Oh, Tony P, P loves Pete Buttigieg. I'm worried about Tony P. I'm not worried about him. Sorry. I <laughs> what was his name for Pete? <laughs> you didn't know. He, I only got that far. And Tiny to be, Pete. To be fair, I don't, I'm kind of glad it didn't get to that point. He definitely's got a name for, <laughs> for Pete Buttigieg. It's behind. probably not a good one. Yeah. Tiny Pete. I can't do it. I can't do Trump. He, he won the he won the club championship, didn't he? I don't know. He advanced, Trump? <laughs> he advanced to it. If you're Donald Trump, why are you even in like a, a – why are you even qualifying for the club championship? It, dude, it's where he gets his juice from. He doesn't even like politics anymore. It's just all about getting to the club championship. Is he legitimately like a decent golfer? I think so. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think for, so. For an old guy, like, I'm sure. Stinks. I'm sure it's like juiced. I'm sure his like handicap's a little juiced and stuff. But like, I think he is regarded as being a pretty good just, golfer, just like mine. He drives. He's not like Kim Jong, like your boy. Yeah, he just lies about it. He drives the cart up onto the green. When it's your course, you can do whatever you He's want. He's also um, wildly out of shape. That too. I don't know if you've noticed. Yes. If you were if you were Trump and you had Trump money and you were making like Trump National or something, would you be like talk to the course architect, not Pete Dye? Would you talk to the architect <laughs> and be like, "Hey, can you come out and play a few rounds with me and uh, just see how my game sets up?" So just tailored tailored to his game. Yeah, that's a great idea. Like I have the theory that Augusta plays well for lefties, and so I think I could I think I could be a stripe show out there. His step counts like under a hundred when he plays around of golf. He drives right up to the ball no matter where it is. It's pretty great. Do you, you guys ever, get any? Uh, you guys get any uh, car path only on on Friday after the uh, rain showers in the morning? I was worried about you guys. I think there was like one hole that was CPO. I almost texted and said, "Hey, I really am sorry for um, secretly wishing that you guys had car path only since I couldn't play, but I didn't want to put it out there that I actually said that." The what? No, it's okay. I, I thought about you when I woke up to the uh, pretty significant thunderstorm a couple hours before the tea time. I almost texted you and said, I'm really sorry for putting, okay. putting no. car path only into the world. It's okay. I, it's, it's a good – it's not even a bit. It's just a funny thing about Will that I always think about in those situations. Dude, I hate car path only. If, it, like, it does suck. It's just – it's the worst. I'd rather walk.
I'd rather I'd rather have my cart transported to a different hole, and I can just walk the cart path only hole, so I don't have to sprint back and forth and bring six clubs with me every time. You ever hit like a bad shot and you hit it a little short, you chunk it or something, and like the guy driving the cart's like, "You want to ride up there?" And you're like, "No, I'm gonna walk." And you just it's like, you know, you're like, "I'm gonna walk these thirty yards and just kind of think about things," you know, like that's gonna turn the day around. Like, I'm gonna walk it up, man. I'll grab my putter. No, I hate it when you walk up and you don't have the clubs that you need. But you're like, whatever. I just hit a shitty shot. This hole's over for me anyway. But you could just go back and get the club you actually need and put a good swing on it. But instead, you just derail mm -hmm. the entire hole and then round let's because you, down. you're just angry and not wanting to deal with uh, walking back to the cart. Let's make it worse. Hey, let's putt with the wedge. You're putting for triple. May as well putt with the wedge. And, you know, if you make it, that's awesome. People will forget you were putting for triple. If you don't, he gave up. Yeah, we'll, give him, we'll give him a triple and move on. Yeah, dude, we'll put you down for seven. You're gone. Fucking golf. I hope to play with you again someday, Dylan. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let's get out of here. Good podcast today, Dylan. Hey. Don't cocky good. sip him as we say you gotta, goodbye. Is it, it's been empty for the last, like, seven sips. You're annoying. All right, let's get out of here. Bye.